Hi, I'm Charlotte Boise and welcome to The Proper Pour. The most famous fizz cocktail in the world is probably the Ramos Gin Fizz, which was created in the 1800s in New Orleans. Now, like every great classic cocktail, there have been many variations since then on what is such a wonderful, delicious drink, including the Violet Fizz, which I'm going to make for you now. The fizz is famous for its use of egg whites, so that's what we'll start with. I'll we'll take one fresh egg, give it a crack, and separate out the yolk. And I can just toss that away. So we've got one egg white in the mixing glass. Next, I'm going to add the base spirit. And the Ramos Gin Fizz is all about gin. I've chosen Hendrix uh, for a special reason. With the Violet Fizz, we're looking for something that's floral and delicate and very pretty. So the choice of gin is very important in that. So Hendrix Gin as the base, one ounce and a half. Right in there. And then to the violet part, I'm going to use the Bitter Truth Violet Liqueur charm in color and adds that pretty floral element I was talking about just now. So a quarter ounce goes into the tin. Now we're going to add some citrus. I'm going to stick just to fresh lemon for the violet fizz. So a three quarter ounce. So freshly squeezed lemon. A three quarter ounce, I'll just measure that out and throw it in. Same amount of simple syrup, just your regular equal parts sugar and water. And then inspired by the classic Ramos Gym Fizz, I'm just going to put a quarter ounce, just a touch of cream. And this will really give a nice elegant mouthfeel, as well as make this the perfect cocktail for brunch. Now, you might have noticed that I've been using a tin in which to build this cocktail, when normally I would use something like this, the Boston glass. The reason I'm using a tin is because with an egg white cocktail, these days we like to dry shake. We like to pre-shake the cocktail without any ice to give the egg white a chance to emulsify. And that's always better done with a tin on tin rather than the traditional glass and tin. The reason is this just has a better seal and you avoid some embarrassing spillage. So I'm going to give this a dry shake. And now we're ready to fill the shaker with ice as normal and give it a proper good shake. Nice and hard to get that cream and egg white mixed in. There we go. Now before I strain this into the glass, a fizz has a little soda top just to lengthen out the cocktail and give it, well, a fizz. Um, but what I've learned recently is it's actually nice to do the soda in first. So I'm going to put a splash of soda, about an ounce, ounce and a half in the bottom of the glass, and this is just going to help mix in all the ingredients. And now we can strain our fizz on top of that. And you can see if you look closely, you've got that beautiful kind of violet hue just creeping through. I'll just wait and give it a nice froth on top. And now for this cocktail, we'll keep the garnish nice and simple. I'm just going to cut the zest of an orange, fresh from the fruit. And as always with our twist, we just hold it still over the top of the cocktail and then snap our fingers together, get that beautiful spritz. You can already smell it. Now I fell in love with this cocktail at the Varnish in Los Angeles. Now you guys have the recipe at home. You can make it at home or you can pop down to the Varnish next time you're in LA. Either way, I know you're going to enjoy the Violet Fizz.